So, if you guys remember, in my one year later review of the Dell Inspiron 15, 3515 to be exact, I did mention that there is a fingerprint sensor option for the device. And if I manage to get my hands on one, I will make a video about it. Well, here it is. I finally got my hands on one. Without any further ado, let's install it. Alright, so now what we're doing is we're just opening up the laptop, of course, to install the new fingerprint sensor. So, I did get it from AliExpress, so I'll make sure to put the link in the description. Obviously, make sure you unplug the battery before before we continue doing anything else. So two screws holding down the hinge, then there's three screws holding down this little subboard, and obviously remove the connection to the main board. Then we unscrew the power button, and this is where I encountered a problem. So the fingerprint sensor, it turns out it is smaller than the power button. So it turns out what you need to do is you need to like modify the power button, or you get a special frame for it, I'm not sure. So I contacted the seller and he said, you literally need the power button. I don't understand what he means. I think he means you have to modify the power button. I don't know. So screwing this, so I decided I'll leave it for a bit. I'm going to just make sure before I modify the power button, I'll just make sure the fingerprint sensor works because I don't want to have to destroy my power button and all of that. And the fingerprint sensor doesn't even end up working. So yeah, let's try it out. And device manager, as you can see, it's refreshing. And if I look at the top, the driver is literally installed. If you give me a sec. Scroll up. There you go. Biometric devices, the Godex Mark fingerprint. So at this point, it's literally self-explanatory. As you can see, the fingerprints, I still haven't installed it properly. Now you just go into settings, sign in options, and fingerprint recognition. Obviously, first of all, make sure that you um, have a pin or a password set, or else the option won't be enabled. And then it's just like your iPhone or your Android or whatever you use your fingerprint on. You just, you know, keep putting your fingerprint on, you know, just so it captures all angles of your fingerprint. And there you go. So now if I lock the laptop and I try to put my finger on, there you go. That's it. That's literally, that's all you have to do. So in the end, what I ended up doing was I sellotaped the uh, fingerprint sensor onto the power button. What I tried to do with the power button was I tried to cut the top part of it off. So I could put the fingerprint sensor on, but it failed miserably. So I tried to manage with whatever I had left of the power button. So I literally just wrapped it around the tape. It still presses the power to the laptop. So the laptop still turns on. The fingerprint sensor still works. So yeah, that's literally it. Like I said, I got it off AliExpress for I think £17. And then because I'm in the UK, like £10 tax on top. But yeah, I will make sure to put the link in the description as well. And yeah, guys, that's it. That is literally me installing the fingerprint sensor on my Dell Inspiron 15 3515. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys do end up getting the same fingerprint sensor for your laptop, I wish you the best of luck within your installation. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.